this face, Parma Purusha is not only the supreme lord, but he is something more than that. He is also the supreme progenitor. He creates everything. And that is why he is in a position to help you. So you have now understood that in the first phase, the supreme entity is your lord, the lord of all lords. But in the second phase of your march, he is not only the lord of all lords, but he is your supreme progenitor as well. When human beings reach the third stage, the speed of their progress is accelerated. The third stage, as I said last night, concerns the psychic problem. There is quick progress, no doubt, in this stage, but there are strong possibilities of degradation also. At every step, one must move with vigilance. In this stage, the spiritual aspirants acquire some occult powers, but these powers may be dangerous after certain progress. There is every chance of misuse or abuse of those occult powers, as a result of which one degenerates. Thus, in this stage, there are both inner and outer hindrances and obstacles. Shurasya dara nishita duratyaya durgyam patashtat kavayo varanti katopanishad. The spiritual path is as sharp as the razor's edge. It is really inaccessible. So say the realized persons, human beings, who have to move on. But in this stage, they cannot move a step forward unless and until they develop a high-grade conscience. For this they depend solely on the grace of the Supreme. The need for psychic power at this stage is felt much more than before, and to obtain psychic power or psychic strength is a difficult task. But this psychic power can be attained easily only by those who have learned how to surrender themselves to Parama Purusha who have realized that only due to the wish of Parma Purusha, they have come to the world, and again, because of his wish, they are continuing their efforts to realize him. They realize that, out of his grace, he gets the work done through their medium, with the help of positive microvita. They think, I cannot claim any merit for this. I will simply keep, keep on working, and the energy required to do the work will be supplied by Parma Purusha. I can say only this, that with whatever energy you have given me, I am working, and in future, with whatever amount of energy you will give me, I will work accordingly. From my side, there will be no lethargy. Whatever energy you feel necessary to give me, you will bestow on me. I have nothing to say in the matter. If someone has pride inwardly that he is moving on by dint of his own strength, he is wrong. How little strength human being possesses. And with that little strength, how far can they move forward? Human beings really do not have anything to be proud of. If there is anything for them to be proud of, it is Parma Purusha. They should think, Parma Purusha is mine, and I am his. That is the only source of pride. Because of his grace, they will get energy or strength from him. And with that strength, they will move forward. Without his grace, no one can move even a single step forward, and for these people should always remember that by their own efforts they, did, they do not make any progress, rather it is due to the wish of Parma Purusha that they make any progress at all. It is the duty of Parma Purusha to help them to move forward. This 100% reliance on Parma Purusha is called Papati in the scriptures. Sarakas should always maintain the spirit of property, and they will never develop any sort of pride in their minds. Whatever takes place in the universe, and whatever qualities I possess, is all due to his grace. He is the lord of everything. He is the machine man, and I am simply a machine. In this third stage, if there is devotion, one can easily move forward without any difficulty. But a person who has no devotion, whose heart is as dry as a desert, would find it impossible to progress. In this case, the spiritual aspirant will not only look upon the supreme entity as his lord, and not only as the supreme progenitor, but as the supreme guru, that is, one who is capable of dispelling darkness. Guru means darkness, and ru means dispeller. Parma Purusha alone is the supreme guru. Brahma Eva, Guru Rekyaha, 
Krishna Paraha. Brahma alone is the guru, no one else. With the help of this guru, the Sadaka surmounts two waves of degrading tendencies in the third stage. The fourth stage is the phase of pinnacle intellect, when all aims, all objectivities, all desiderata, all longings coincide in a particular point, that is, the mind gets pointed, apexed and pinnacle in this phase. There is no internal trouble here, but external hindrances may come in the form of so many de degenerating forces. But we must remember that those with pointed intellect, those with pointed spirituality, can never be defeated. They are sure to be victorious, and Paramapurusha is sure to help them. In this stage, the Supreme Entity is not only the Lord, the Lord of all Lords, and He is not only the Supreme Progenitor, Progenitor. In the third phase, he is also the guru, and in this fourth phase, the relationship is just like a piece of paper. The unit consciousness of the spiritual aspirant is one side of the paper, and the cosmic consciousness of Paramapurusha is the other side of the paper. They are inseparable, one cannot be removed from the other. By his effulgence, the unit exists, and the existential faculty of this aspirant gets lighter, gets illuminated. Illumined. With his illumination, the aspirant is to move forward, enjoy the supreme beatitude and the supreme composure. One need not ask for anything at this stage. One needs only to move forward with single-pointed mind, and Paramapurusha will do what is necessary. One day human beings, by virtue of their sincere efforts, will surely arrive at this stage. Whoever is blessed with a human body and a human mind, with a constant longing for union with Parma Prusha, and a deep yearning for self-realization, will surely attain this stage. They will surely be established in the supreme stance, in the supreme entity, it is a must. And in this fourth stage, hindrances do not come from inside, but from outside. Some hindrances and obstacles may come from degradation degrading and degenerating forces, but those forces cannot ultimately be victorious. The fireflies may make angry faces at the sun or the moon, but by this the moon and the sun are not diminished, rather it is the fireflies who get burnt in the scorching heat of the sun. Similarly, all the hindrances and obstacles vanish into nothingness. The victory of humanity is proclaimed through the intense sadhana of spiritual aspirants. This supreme truth applies equally to individuals as well as to the entire universe. When a person attains an exalted state of spirituality, he or she can bring welfare to millions of people, and they can do so due to the grace of Parma Purusha. So the final word is Brahma Kripa Hi Kevanam, Guru Kripa Hi Kevanam. The grace of Brahma is everything. The grace of Guru and Brahma are one and the same. In the history of the world, you will see that against this type of spiritual aspirants who make spiritual progress with the grace of Paramapurusha, all the degrading and degenerating forces will easily concede defeat. You too should keep moving forward, and you will also attain victory after victory. There is no doubt about it. Therefore, continue your efforts tirelessly. Do your duty, and you will surely be crowned with success. Ananda Purnima, 31st of May, 1987, DMC, Ananda Nadar.